Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Thank you for clicking on this video. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm bringing you guys another huge Sarama Haku because I've changed your name haul. Very disappointed. Um, I guess I understand, but something has happened to a lot of my videos over on TikTok. But here we are, I am bringing it to you over on YouTube. I have basically like two lots of orders here. I'm very, very lucky that I was sent these pieces from the team, but I had an order a few weeks ago. So there's some bits in here from that. There's a lot of sun coming in and out of my bedroom lights. So please don't mind if the lighting does adjust. But yeah, I've had another order turn up a few days ago with some bits that I haven't even like unboxed properly myself yet. So I'm very excited to do that with you today. If you are new to my channel and you may not have subscribed yet, it would mean the absolute world to me. If you do enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe. For Sarama Haku, I believe it works in most countries. I'll put the information that I can down below. I obviously can only give it to you from a UK perspective. You need to download the app. You need to make sure that you are a registered user. I do have a discount code which is fin 14 but it's for new users only on your first order so i'll pop it on the screen it's in the description everything that i talk about here will be linked in the description so you can click on them and it should take you through to the app to the item obviously it's all very very affordable I know some people don't agree with that that's absolutely fine you don't have to watch this video so yeah i'm gonna get stuck in i don't even know what to start with i think i'm gonna start with the things that i've been using and that I know that I like already. First item is these Ugg slippers. I have been living in these, hence they're all like flattened kind of at the back now. These are really, really sturdy. They've got the kind of rubber sole on them. So they're great if I do take the bins out down the bottom of the drive or something. They're not going to get like sopping wet through the sole of them. I got them in the kind of khaki colour and I believe I got these in my normal size. Yeah, I got these in a UK 5 and they fit me perfectly and I don't even know what fraction of the price these would be. Another shoe item that I actually had on earlier, I went for a walk with Beth this morning on the canal. I've worn these a few times and I've got to say I'm absolutely loving them. I was going to buy the like actual converse um, versions of these a couple of months ago because i'd seen a few people on tiktok wearing them but i wasn't sure because obviously they are so chunky and i know a lot of people probably don't really like it and i was so unsure at first but obviously i received these in the order and i'm obsessed with them these are actually so comfortable i'm pretty sure again i got them in my normal size oh okay i tell a lie so these are technically an eu 39 Women's eighth, men's six. So a 39 is usually a UK six. Some things have fit me and some things have been too small. So, but I'm pretty sure you can return stuff. I absolutely love these. Cannot, cannot say a bad thing about them. It's got all of the branding on it. Made really, really well. Really comfortable to wear. I went walking for like an hour. These are probably one of my favorite shoes that I've had from them so far. Two items that I actually haven't thrown the boxes out for yet, but they have been on my shelf. So I just had to get them down. I have a coach bag. It came in this white box. I've obviously taken it out of there and it came in a dust bag as well. In this little box is this gorgeous little coach bag. I haven't actually had the chance to wear this out of the house. I did style up an outfit with it on TikTok uh, the other week. I feel like when I'm back into my neutral era in spring, I've been wearing a lot of blacks recently. This is just going to look stunning. It will fit my phone in it, luckily. I don't know if it would fit an iPhone Max. Again, the quality on this, it's got the engraving on all of like the hardware. The stitching is all really, really good on it. Inside, it's just kind of like a, a faux suede kind of material with a little pocket at the back. So perfect size just to fit a couple of essentials in it, whether it's my phone, a few cards, my keys so i really really like this as a little crossbody bag obviously you get this long adjustable crossbody strap with it as well another gorgeous bag that i got last time around is from dior this obviously adds i guess to the experience of buying these items you still feel like you're getting a nice luxury experience here she is in all of her glory it's the dior saddlebag just in the plain black leather it's incredible gold hardware and it's just got a magnetic clasp the magnetic clasp here you can see the circle there and then inside we've got a lovely zip compartment and it is quite spacious again you're not going to fit tons and tons in there but your phone keys purse 
lip products. This is again made really really well. It's such a gorgeous bag. These are spenny. I'm sure they like a few grand last time i had this essentials jumper that i was unsure of but i do actually really really like it kind of like a ironed on i don't know really really nice quality the inside of this though isn't like a fleecy material it's like i don't even know how to describe it i said this in a I'm sure I said this in a TikTok. you've got the essentials little rubber logo on the hood You've got it on the sleeve and then this one doesn't have anything on the back so it has the detail in all the right places it's a really nice jumper it's just not as like thick and fleecy as another one that i've had these however i haven't even taken out of the box yet they've been sat in my other bedroom I'm assuming they're kind of like a collaboration or a limited edition style of i think they're the dunks i've obviously got quite a few pairs of Jordans and Dunks. Some are real, some are Saramat versions. These ones are made so well and I absolutely love the style of them. So they're like a deep chocolate brown and it's a different feel of leather. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a really, really soft kind of leather on the brown. You've got your normal leather on the cream part and then this tick is kind of like a really light purpley gray and that's a suede. Yeah, always made really, really well. The tongue on this one is nice and sturdy. These are a good trainer. How incredible are these? I don't really know why I've kept them in the box. I just forgot to put them away, I think. I picked these up in a 5.5 for women's, apparently. Okay, where do we start with these things? I've got a big pile over here. I've got a gorgeous little Prada box. I haven't even unboxed this, it's still in the, the wrapper, so you get a nice sturdy box. Comes in a little dust bag. Ta-da! It is just one of the nylon shoulder bags. These, I don't understand how they cost like £800 when this is identical. And it's just a piece of material. This just feels exactly like my other one. Super nice quality. Comes with your little label. This is like the little tag that's supposed to hang down from it. And you've got the little Prada logo inside the bag as well. It's nice and spacious. Fits under my arm perfectly. And I feel like you just can't go wrong with a black bag. They just go with everything. Being this material, I think it is easier to clean as well. Oh, I've got a little hat here actually got a little north face beanie now i'm not actually that much of a hat person but i just felt like i think it's usually because of my hair because my natural hair is quite thin it's growing and i did dye it um yesterday with my mum which is why it might look a bit darker and a bit warmer i love beanies and it's not that they don't suit me i just feel like my hair just looks really naff sticking out of a beanie as i feel like if i had my extensions in or something and i had a bit more hair there or if it was styled or something then a beanie would look cuter the quality of this is really really nice i would not tell the difference at all little stitched on logo there what it looks like and this is what i mean by like i don't have much hair coming out of the hat but yeah still super cute i've got a gorgeous pair of new balance trainers here that i have actually tried on quickly already and i'm absolutely gutted that these are just the tiniest bit too small as my toe is right at the end of it and if i'm walking like it's just gonna rub the top of my toe and i know it's gonna hurt so i don't really know what to do with these whether to do a little giveaway um i mean i have tried them on and put them on my foot they're size five but i feel like for me being a five i should have got like a five and a half or a six they are gorgeous though so they're gorgeous like beige like brown creamy pair how nice are these they're made really nicely good bit of rubber nice sturdy shoe bit of padding in the sole but yeah i'd say the toe isn't got like any kind of like soft pad in there and it's just a little bit too tight on me so i think if you're a size four four and a half these would probably be better for you if you're like a really small five they're just that bit too tight for me yeah, maybe I could do a little giveaway with these just because I don't want to keep them for the sake of it and obviously I don't need to sell them. If anyone is interested in winning these, um, obviously they'd need to be 
your size. So if you are a four, four and a half. If you're a five, I mean, you could try them, but they might be a bit tight on you. Leave your name in the comments below and that these are your size if you like them. And I will choose someone to give these away to. I mean, if no one is interested and no one comments, that's absolutely fine. I will find somewhere to give them to, whether it's charity or another friend or something. But to start with, I'll give you guys the option of winning these. So I'll keep them in the box for now until I get this video up. I might open this jumper next because I'm quite curious to see. So I've got this Celine knit jumper that I've seen a couple of other people have actually on TikTok and was very intrigued by it. So I got this in a size medium. Oh my god, this is really thick. This is a really, really lovely, thick, stretchy knit jumper. And then it's got the, obviously, Celine in like a leather. They're like stitched on in like a cream leather. How nice is that? I can't believe the quality. I don't know why I'm so shook. Like everything I have is obviously really nice, but for a knit jumper, I'm obsessed with this. I might actually have to wear this at some point this weekend. Let's do one of the pair of Uggs, or should we just do both Uggs? So I actually have the platform pair of Uggs, which I do love the platform style. However, I did get them in a six and they are a little bit too big for me. So I can't really wear them for very long and walk around in them because they kind of like slip off the my ankle a little bit. So I picked up another two pairs of Uggs because my other little Tasman, whatever they're called, slippers, the stitching started to come away from them. They were from a different website. So maybe maybe these will be better. So I think these are the Tasman ones. Got like a little Ugg card there. You've got Ugg branded tissue paper. Like there's just so much effort that goes into these things. And then obviously they are just individually packaged in here. These are gorgeous literally just like the ugg slippers i don't know if the bottom of these aren't quite rubber like the other ones my friend beth actually has a pair she had one uh, pair for christmas so i'm gonna go and compare them later because i'm seeing the girls later i don't know actually i think that fits me perfectly they're so cute let me stand up they're like not very high at the back my other ones were higher but i don't know if they were that's how they're supposed to be quality of these are banging and they're really really soft and fluffy inside so yeah they're the first pair it's just another pair of those i haven't actually had a pair of the normal uggs before so again little ugg box and it does always have like the detail on there like it just feels so legit i literally just got a normal ugg so now these ones have more of a rubber sole on them the other ones weren't quite this material on the sole so maybe these are a tiny bit more sturdy but they're just the ultra mini uggs with the branding oh yes oh yes oh <gasps> these are so comfy oh my god i'm so glad like there's certain trends i am just so glad to come back i had uggs when i was younger and i always had like the Primark versions of them as well and then everyone like that would wear them to school you'd always get that one side of the Ugg that you'd walk on would like kind of shave down and you'd be walking like <laughs> on an angle oh these just fit unreal okay if there's anything you get definitely look at these Uggs I might open this because I'm very intrigued something again from North Face this is actually one of their jackets but it's their like teddy jacket oh it is not a jacket. I thought I ordered a jacket. It's a quarter zip, teddy like quarter zip cropped fleecy thing. So this is technically a large, so it is quite like boxy. I'm assuming it's supposed to be, well, I suppose actually it's not that cropped. It's like a really like lined fleecy material on the inside and then the teddy material on the outside. Label on the inside, You've got your badge on the front and then i think this is normal for north face but they always put the badge on one of the shoulders at the back as well oh there's a toggle ah should we try this on i'll try it on quickly okay so i think it is supposed to be like a slightly cropped thing the sleeves are massive um not sure if that is <laughs> normal but i mean i'm not complaining it did have like it's got like elbow things on it um a very big collar i must say do it up a bit cinch in if 
trying to figure out how this works. I mean, it would look better with black leggings, obviously, but I think she's kind of cute. Let me know what you think. I might try that Celine jumper on quickly. This is a winner. The only thing that I kind of wish is like the arms were maybe a bit longer. I mean, I don't know. It's quite like long if you left it down, but I like to just roll my jumpers up. Anyway, how nice is this? Oh, just hit 10,000 steps. What's the time? Half three. Good going. The last item I believe is from Guess. Whoa. Oh my God. <gasps> She's so cute. Lovely gold hardware there. That is so cute. Bit of leopard print going on. Got the little logo, a little zip there, and then the little, like card holder section, which is actually really, really handy. Especially if I ever have like loose coins. Not that I really carry cash, but if I didn't have my card holder on me, obviously you could just pop your cards in there. This is a really nice size. This would fit, like, even though it's not much bigger than the other bags. This actually has like a lot more room inside there. I feel like this would fit my camera, my phone, and a few other things in it easily. If you want it to be a bit longer on your shoulder, you know. I suppose though you have to be careful with what kind of jumper you're wearing because a lot of like hoodies and stuff, this fluffy material would probably get fluff all over you. But that is everything that I have to share with you from Haku, Sarah Mark. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the new bits that I got and maybe it inspired you if your birthday's coming up or you want to buy something for someone else or just buying something for you. Like I said, everything is in the description. You can click through the links, make sure you're downloaded on the app, you're registered and signed in. Use my code FIN14. For new users, you get 14% off your first order. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, and obviously those trainers, if you are interested, you're a size four, four and a half. If you would like to win them, just let me know in the comments and I can pick someone. If you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. It would mean the world to me. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you all again soon in my next video. Bye!